So today I'm going to do a quick unboxing because I finished for today. Um, I've already done my um, work on my mats module. I've done my Tai Chi, been for a walk, have had lunch. So I'm going to take this game for a spin tonight. I'm not going to do a playthrough because um, I'm just going to play this for fun. But I'm going to do an unboxing. So this is Nations by Lauter Pelit Publishing. Um, a game by Aina Rosen, Robert Rosen, Nina Hawkinson and Rustan Hawkinson. We have a rule book. Full colour. Clocks in at 24 pages. But as you can see, plenty of illustrations as well. You have the um, <clears throat> nations sheet. So here we've got Egypt, um, two sided. So there is a basic one and a special one <coughs> Greece, Rome, China, Persia. The uh, board where you keep track of the different. Um, Statistics, here you've got books, so law, learning, um, stability, the war, um, counter, different types, um, how you can start the game, chieftain, prince, king, emperor, player, order. Um, here you can place the, um, the number of architects that you get, the war, and here uh, is the track through um, time, from antiquity up to industrial age. <clears throat> here you've got... Um, a couple of oops boards for chits so um, you have these these um, cards I guess down here are actually the solo AI um, a rule summary uh, sorry a round summary here you've got different um, as you <clears throat> as you could possibly call it the um, uh, the money that you use in in the game the currency here you've got food um, you've got coal so stone or um, grain for food. These are victory points. Here you've got gold. Um, I don't know what this is for. It looks like a two wooden planks nailed together, some kind of cross thing. Um, more cards. <clears throat> the board where you place the um, cards that you can buy, the different um, inventions, the different nat um, natural wonders and so on and so forth that you can get during the game. Uh, more chits. more chits, then you've got your meeples, different colours for different players, you've got a d6, you've got cards for the different eras, so um, this would be um, the earliest one, here you've got the next one, number two, um, <clears throat> so plenty of cards, baggies, I guess, yeah, some um, uh, well, this is a game tracker, I guess, if you want to keep score of what you're what you're achieving when you're playing opposed. And of course, we I also got the expansion, which I'm also going to unbox because I'm planning on putting all of this in the same box to save some time. Although I put up new shelves today. I was um, appalled to see how little space I've gained through putting up new shelves. So, uh, well, I mean, the fact that I bought shelves um, and sold a couple of games was offset by the fact that I've spent, that I've bought, I guess, 10 games already this year. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> um, yes. What can I say? So we open the Nations Dynasties expansion. Comes with cards. This is a weird package. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So okay, so this is actually empty, and then it comes with this, which is also kind of empty, and it just basically bolsters up this. So this could have been sold differently. Here we've got the um Components overview and information about the new cards and the new 
uh, nations that you've got. You've got the Arabs, um, America, Korea. And these are only the special ones. So basically, this is something that has been pointed out before. <coughs> that um, whereas these, the basic game, the base game is double-sided. So this would be Persia general, and this would be Persia special. Um, this comes with um, only the special um, uh, nations, and you have two nations per um, per card. So, for example, you can't have Venice play Korea unless you make copies. Um, somebody has pointed out, um, considering how big this box is and considering how much you're paying, they could have given you um, these separately, and I agree. Um, here we've got Mongolia, Portugal, Japan, uh, the Vikings, India, Mali, Ethiopia, and Poland. So, um, as you can see, uh, there is plenty of stuff in both games. Um, and I'm going to, uh, well, play my first round tonight. Um, if I'm, you know, like, if I feel like it, I may actually um, um, do a playthrough of this. I don't know. I'm just, I just basically bought this for fun. Um, and it's also probably a game <clears throat> that most uh, people watching this channel will not be that interested in because it's a, it's a heavy euro and basically it's um, worker placement and um, yeah, probably watching this is much less entertaining than watching, um, uh, for example, Eldritch Horror or of course a war game um, where there's action. So um, yeah. So that's all for today. I'm going to punch these, I'm going to read the rules, and then I'm going to have some fun tonight. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.